Hello everybody, it's Diane Armitage with Best of Laguna Beach and welcome back. I began writing about all of the Best of Laguna Beach way back in 2007 and my website bestoflagunabeach.com has thousands and thousands of articles of my favorite things and my biggest recommendations from a local of Laguna Beach. You can also find me at all of the social media platforms at Best of Laguna Beach and join the thousands and thousands of people who love Laguna Beach almost as much as I do. And of course, I would love to have you like and subscribe here. Now today, I want to talk with you about my most favorite year-round activity in Laguna Beach. It is a hoot. It's award-winning landscape architect Ruben Flores' Garden Walk. It happens every other week. Okay, you're like, oh, Garden Walk, put. no, 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 no. Do not discard this post. No, this is too important. The Garden Walk is <laughs> so amazing. So garden walkers are asked, are asked to meet at the Laguna Nursery by 10 a.m. every other Saturday to purchase their day pass. Day pass, right? $10 entry for thousands of dollars of free advice. Now, the, the nursery sits on Coast Highway and, and just like a couple buildings down from Myrtle. So it's in North Laguna. It's easy to find. It's got all the trees and the blooming things and the bees and the hummingbirds and everything, okay? So once you pay your $10, and you can also buy something in the store for $10 if you prefer, then it's just a short drive to the first property where Ruben starts, and everyone reconvenes there with Pathfinder Ruben Flores leading the way, right? So he invented the garden walk 13 years ago, and initially a handful of ardent gardening fans showed up. You know, those master gardeners, all they do and think and dream about is gardening. Over time, however, the garden walk grew to significant proportions. If you're out and about on a Saturday and you see a group of 30 or 50 or more people standing at the side of the road, their necks craned up looking at some tree, you know you've stumbled across the garden walk. It's an entirely different experience every time with these neighborly folks often spontaneously inviting the entire group into their backyard gardens for a closer look. Now, every time I go on these every other week walks, I have so much fun. Ruben is <laughs> he's a walking wiki of every imaginable tree, shrub, flowering, weirdness, and weed. But it doesn't stop there. Because he has expanded his landscape architect business to interior rescue as well, Ruben knows every architectural style and points out where people have mixed and matched building materials in a good way or a not so good way. And then he talks about how those surfaces and walls meld or don't meld with the chosen plants in the landscape. He talks about pavers and sprinkler placement and where the sun will shine on an inappropriately located plant. He points to deer trees that have been shorn so rudely that their exposed branches have been sunburned. He stops in awe to point out a crafty gargoyle tucked away on a chimney somewhere or a rare bloom of wisteria or a rare African tulip tree, you know, and he'll say, Stathodia camula la 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 la. He, you know, he just chirps these things out. You never know what you're going to find on a Reuben Flores garden walk. When his partner, Nelson Coates, comes along for the walk, you get even more fun information. As one of Hollywood's most sought after production designers, Nelson is a walking, talking encyclopedia on surfaces, finishes, and ghastly versus great aesthetics around a home. He shares his thoughts on walkways, driveways, pagodas, gazebos, and randomly bemoans the wrong use of glass in so many beautiful homes. Privacy glass is fine, he says, but milk is such a terrible color, as he glumly looks on a $9 million home that should have known better. Ruben's garden walks are not strenuous walks, but you want to bring good walking shoes and water. The walks are typically about two hours, but they can stretch to three or four hours if you choose to hang out later with the group for margarita somewhere. It's the most imaginative way to really discover the magic of Laguna Beach, but it's also a fantastic way to pick up tips and hints on crazy unknown secrets of how to like grow things in your world, in your inside world, in your outside world. I mean, look at this. Look at how he helps me grow my own things. Isn't it just amazing? Okay, I just have to say, it is so much fun. So his whole nursery and business, again, 481 North Coast Highway, Laguna Beach, and you can go online, you can find his, um, his schedule. I don't want to tell you what it is today because, you know, we want to make sure that you check in and go every other Saturday. 
but really it is so much fun. You're gonna learn so much about Laguna Beach. You're gonna have these amazing walks in amazing backyards that you'd never get access to. You have all kinds of access to coastline properties that he only has the key to. It is just so much fun. I hope that you join the gaggle of people who are out on the garden walk sometime soon. I know you're going to enjoy it. I'll see you soon.